Hey, it's Susan Berkeley back with another edition of the Inside VoiceOver E newsletter. And today I'm inspired by something that happened with one of my new coaching members. Uh, he and I were working together and he was so frustrated at himself and so nervous and I was like what's going on and he said that he just couldn't get through the whole script without making mistakes and I was like duh I forgot to tell him that in voiceover nothing is live and that might be an assumption that you're making too as you're starting out you really you don't have to get through the whole script without making mistakes in fact every mistake is edited out everything you hear on television and radio is a compilation of different takes that are then edited together in fact they even edit out the speaker's breaths many times or minimize them it's kind of like having a hair and makeup artist for your voice by the time you get to the finished production everything is cleaned up it's treated and it just sounds fantastic so if you make mistakes don't worry that's the name of the game nobody does it perfectly even the best of the best in fact the average metric as we say uh, the average time it takes to record one hour of finished audio is three hours three to one is the average metric so you're and that includes the recording and the editing time some of the better voice talent some of the more experienced people can do it in one and a half to one which means it takes them 90 minutes to record and edit one hour of finished audio let me give you some tips for more efficient time in the studio too the first one is read and prepare the script carefully before you start recording go through it make sure you flag any weird punctuation or any words that you don't understand call the client first so you don't have to stop your recording session in the middle the second is to mark your copy so mark the places where you want to pause where you want to breathe and the third tip is uh, if you're going to be editing clap like that when you make a mistake. So when you go later and look at the sound file, you'll actually see the spike from where you made that mistake. And it really does speed up the editing time. It's gonna help you. And that's, only do that if you're editing yourself. Don't do that if you're in a professional, professional situation because the engineer will catch and mark the mistake for you. Practice, practice, practice. So the more you practice reading, the smoother, the more efficient you're gonna be in the studio. And eventually you're gonna get to the point where your eyes read ahead of your mouth I don't know how long that takes it's something I intuitively do now at this point in my career but I'm actually able to read ahead and see what's coming and that makes me a lot more efficient in the studio and then my final tip is if you make a mistake and you've got a director you have an audio engineer recording you don't apologize it's so unprofessional it takes up time just stop go back to where you flubbed and read it again. They'll edit it out. That's their job. They love doing it. So I hope that helped you. And I'll look forward to talking to you again next week when the Inside VoiceOver e-newsletter is back.